Hello friends, in this video, we will discuss about the evaluation of convolution integral with an example. Okay, so this is very important example where we consider convolution of two rectangular signals. One is of width 2t1 and another rectangle is of width 2t2. Okay, so clearly here the assumption is t1 is less than t2. So we are interested in evaluating the convolution of these two signals. Okay, so how do we do that? So for any two signals x1 of t and x2 of t, we define the convolution integral as y of t equal to integral minus infinity to infinity x1 of tau x2 of t minus tau d tau. So clearly the given integral is with respect to tau and hence what is the first step? We have to convert the given signals in tau domain. Okay. Yeah, so these are the signals x1 of tau and x2 of tau, both of them are in tau domain. So the only difference is that the domain changes, but the plot of the signals remains same. So to evaluate this integral, we require x1 of tau, which is already here, but we require x2 of t minus tau, but we have only just x2 of tau. So how do you plot x2 of t minus tau? So note that the variable here is tau, and for this integration, t is a constant okay so we can write x2 of t minus tau as x2 of minus tau plus t and how do you plot this x2 of tau first step is shifting the signal by t units and then flipping the signal so you shift the signal by t units and then flip the signal so here we are assuming we assume t to be positive and hence what should we do we should shift the signal to the left by t units okay so we should shift this signal to the left by t units okay so that's why then then we get this signal which is x2 of tau minus t but we don't want x2 of tau minus t but we want x2 of minus tau plus t and hence what should we do we should flip the signal obtained in the step one and then flip it okay we flip the signal and then we will get the Finally, flipper signal, which is x2 of minus tau plus t. Note that the change of the sign happens here. Okay, now what is our goal? Our goal is to evaluate our y of t, and this y of t exists from where to where? From minus infinity to. So we are interested in plotting y of t. So this flow exists from minus infinity to infinity. So this so y of t, we don't know the shape as of now. So it can be any signal, but that signal should exist from where to where minus infinity to plus infinity so what does what does we infer from this we infer that our t should vary from where to where minus infinity to plus infinity okay so as a first case let's assume that t started at minus infinity and our uh, rectangular signal started moving in this direction okay at some instant where our t1 plus t2 is less than t1 less than minus t1 that is this case what happens there is no common area and hence the product of these two signals is zero and hence y of t is zero for this case okay when t is less than minus t1 minus t2 y of t would be equal to zero okay case two what we do is this little bit move our rectangular signal into the first box okay we little move it into the rectangular signal into the first box so in this case what happens there is an overlap and that overlap in that overlap region the product of the two signals is non-zero and hence and, and what is that area area exists from where to where minus t1 to t1 plus t2 and hence our y of t would be equal to minus t1 to t plus t2 and we have to multiply those signals so in this region x1 of tau is a1 and x2 of tau t minus tau is a2 and hence you get this a1 a2 t2 because it is a constant we can bring it out and by doing simple algebra we can prove that y of t is a1 a2 times t plus t1 plus t2 okay now let us move a little bit further that is the rectangular signal is moving in this direction in this case the second rectangular function is completely in the first rectangular function this is possible because we have put a condition that t2 is less than t1
you have put that condition okay and hence now what is the common area the common area is the, the, the we have a common area in this region and we have to integrate in this area okay and that integral is given by t minus t2 to t plus t2 and again x1 of tau is a1 and x2 of tau is a2 and then the product is this and after doing integration we can see that this should be equal to a constant value which is 2a1 a2 into t2 okay as the next guess the rectangular function is moving further okay so in this situation what happens it has moved out of the first box not completely that is our t1 t plus t2 is greater than t1 but t minus t2 is still less than t1 so in this case the common area is from t minus t2 to plus t1 and hence we integrate in this region and that is given by t minus t2 to t1 a1 a2 d tau again which is simplifies to a1 a2 times t1 plus t2 minus t okay as a final case the rectangular function moves further away why will this moving happens because t varies from where to where we have seen that t varies from minus infinity to plus infinity so we started at minus infinity and we started moving in this direction so when t increases automatically our rectangular signal moves from left to right so in this case that is t minus t2 is greater than t1 in this case what happens the second rectangular function is completely out of first rectangular function and hence there is no common area and hence we get y of t equal to zero so let us summarize what we have got so first case is zero and second case we got the equation to be this and third case equation to be this and fourth case finally equation is this okay so if you try to plot this function you will get not that from minus t1 minus t2 to t2 minus t1 it is a1 a2 times t1 plus t2 plus t and this fellows equation it's a positive slope and hence you will get a1 a2 times t1 plus t2 plus t okay and similarly from minus sorry there is a typo here so here it should be t2 minus t1 okay so from t2 minus t1 to t1 minus t2 it is 2 a1 a2 t1 so that is what we have written here and from t1 minus t2 to t1 plus t2 it is a1 a2 times t1 plus t2 minus t which is of a negative slope and hence you will get a negative slope equation which is 2 a1 a2 sorry a1 a2 times t1 plus t2 minus t so finally what is it we have got so if you convolve two rectangular functions okay so if you convolve two rectangular okay so if you convolve two rectangular functions of different width so this is minus t1 to t1 with amplitude a1 convolved with another rectangular function from minus t2 to plus t2 with amplitude a2 we will get a trapezoidal function which is of this fashion now as an extension to this what happens if t1 and t2 both are equal okay so if t1 and t2 or both are equal then definitely what will happen we will get a triangular function because if you consider this plot if t1 equal to t2 this point would be equal to 0 and hence this point will come and touch here and similarly this also would be equal to 0 and this point will come and touch here and you will get a triangular function okay and the corresponding equations are given by this because t1 and t2 both are equal to t t1 plus t2 would be 2t and same is the case here okay so for from minus and what look at the widths so widths would be minus t1 minus t2 and which is which would be equal to minus 2t and the equation of this line would be a1 a2 times 2t plus t because it is a positive slope similarly okay similarly equation of this line would be a1 a2 times 2t minus t okay so in this way we can evaluate the convolution of two rectangular signals of same width and also of different